Hi there, Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this video, but I've got a project that I'm starting today. This is Saturday, so not a typical work day for me. Uh, it's kind of a fun day, and I like to rearrange things and organize things, and I'm actually gonna build myself a new table because I've been using this plastic table since I moved into this filming space a couple months ago. Um, so I'm just gonna take bits of video as I work through it. First thing, I gotta clear off this table and break it down, and then uh, that way I can use that folding table for other things. Things. It won't be always used as my art table and um, go from there. So that's what I'm going to do now. See you in a few minutes. Okay, I just unplugged my studio light so it's not as bright as usual. I just have the overheads on and my plan is to use that hutch that was from the top of a computer desk as the base for or at least one end of my table. And unfortunately, the piece that um, that has the bigger compartment there, that's blocking an outlet. So I have to have it pulled away from the wall. I can't shift it over more because if I do, then I will be blocking the heat. Like that's my heater there and the heat blows out of the bottom chamber. So I don't want to block that because um, I want to be warm. And I do use that heater most days. Um, and I don't want to use that for the other legs because my table is not going to be that wide. That's actually wider than the end of my table. So I've got to think about that. I've got to figure out where I'm going to plug things in. I like my lights and my heat gun on a power strip so I can shut the whole thing down at the end of the day. Um, and so I don't like that plugged in directly into the wall. So I got to think on that. And But I did get it vacuumed. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll see you back in a second once we've got a little bit more going on. I think I have a new solution. So I thought, why don't I just flip that whole table and have it come off from this wall? And then I'll have the table kind of flush along that edge coming out. And then I'll have the ledge where I could actually put my oil painting supplies if I want to sit there at the easel because I was finding that I wasn't using that easel very much. I might shift this down a little bit, but I think that's going to work and it feels really stable on that wall. So, um, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do this for now. So this, in case you're wondering what this wooden thing coming out of the ceiling is, that is what I actually hook my camera onto. There's a little, um, thumb screw here and some washers. Whoops, I just, wa I just lost my washers. Uh, and that's what I hook my camera to, so it films overhead over my table. I might need to have that moved. That's been a temporary thing. I wanted to buy something a little bit more legit, but I haven't seen anything that can take the weight of my heavy camera. Um, you know, it's all a work in progress. I make do until, you know, I find something better. Um, that's why I'm hobbling this together because I would much rather use what I have and clear out other spaces in my basement and, rather than go buy something new or have Jason make me something. And plus I'm impatient, so I'd rather just uh, not spend money and hobble it together. So let's, uh, I'm gonna keep going and I'll check back in with you in a minute. Okay, I've made a little progress. Um, I've got my husband involved, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, I, I put the desk over here. This is my door. I just painted this door white, and I'm using a plastic set of drawers for one leg, and there is the hutch for the other leg. And we're going to work on seeing if we can get rid of these stands and maybe mount the uh, lights on the ceiling. And also, we got to move the filming camera holding stick. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Jason just walked in. Got, <laughs> got anything to say, honey? No, no. Oh. <laughs> he is. That is not his idea. He wants to. He wants to make sure everyone knows this is not his idea. Okay, here is the room from the doorway. Uh, Jason helped me uh, get those lights up on the ceiling, which is really nice because now I don't have anything kind of like to trip over. I don't have like those ugly stands, um, kind of disrupting my vibes, I guess. Um, I took an extension cord and I plugged it in and ran the cord behind the quilt and then I just have some cup hooks on the ceiling and yeah, I do have kind of a tangle of cords, but um, you know, they're not really tangled, they're just kind of resting on cup hooks and I can unplug that at the end of the day. I could put a power strip there if I need to, but I don't need to, so I probably won't. Now I took the door off of that little cabinet under there and I just have my current reference books for my monthly challenge, my figure drawing challenge. So I'll just probably rotate books out that I'm using at the time. Uh, that little secretary desk, I sit there with my computer sometimes. Um, and then I moved my light that was by my easel over there so I can probably pull it to the end of the table if I need to. The easel actually has a decent amount of light on it. Um, I might put some more like uh, mounts up there for lights, but uh, right now I'm just like, ah, I just, 
I didn't want to yet. Um, and there's like the set kind of behind my table where I sit. Uh, so actually, this will be in the background of the Sat Chats now before it was my mannequin. Um, over here, so it'll be it'll be different. I can always move my camera too. And then uh, underneath there, I know it seemed weird that I was using that for table legs, but I've got room for my trash can. I got room for my uh, bottle of water for painting and my spray bottle, and also my heat gun and my my um, there's a plug in under there so that my pencil sharpener can always be plugged in. And I've got you know just room for all those things that you need that you tuck away. And I've got my nice big door table that I just painted. And then I've got that chest of drawers there that I'll probably put projects in deck, like on deck in. So stuff I'm working on, I need to film. I'll probably just put like a drawer per project and then empty it out as need be. I only have one of those drawers occupied. It was in the other, uh, my storage, my old studio, my storage area now. Um, and I, you know, I had cleared out what was in there. I had used it up, so there. And then, you know, I just have the stuff that I use all the time, like uh, camera cards and my watercolor supplies that I use every time. I just keep them there where I can grab them. Um, but I'm really pleased with how this came out and um, hopefully I don't need to do much else to it. Um, there you have it. That's what I did this weekend. What'd you do? <laughs> Oh, what other thing I wanted to show you that I changed was I used this mount that Jason had made for me um, in the old space and I moved it over here. Actually, Jason did. I had him cut it a little bit shorter so I could zoom out more on my table, but I can also fold it up when I'm not using it. So it just gives it a much more, uh, I don't know, just nicer feeling when I'm in here and I'm not working um, because I always feel like I'm working when I'm in here because of the light stands and all the tech clutter. So I have less tech clutter, which was what was really bothering me about this space. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, thanks for watching and please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye!